be like Jesus at least in some ways. Give my best. That is my motto. I too want to live like a Saint Don Bosco. But uh, how I don't know. But uh, some some kind of interest came to me. Then Papa reluctant to send to me to the convent. Jesus is best. He is a master of everything. He is excellent in all the field. Soon or later, I also going to be the princess of Christ. I should be in an excellent level. Therefore, whatever the opportunities I got, I grabbed it. As Mother Teresa said, do simple things with lots of love. When the Spirit comes, the Lord will take control of you. Sister Sunida Ruby, a member of the congregation of the Carmelite Religious. Mostly we are known as CCR sisters. Currently, I am pursuing PhD in social work under the University of Kerala, South India. Recently, I flew to Sweden, grace of God. I received a scholarship from Sweden government. The name of the scholarship is Linear Spam Scholarship. So I got it through Levala College of Social Sciences to extend my research studies three months there in collaboration with the Marisa Sridhar Shield University, Stockholm. I completed Bachelor of Social Work from Mahatma Gandhi University with the second rank and Master of Social Work from Loyola College of Social Sciences that comes under University of Kerala with the first rank uh, specializing community development. My family includes father, mother and sister and myself. We four of us a small nuclear family, a happy family. My father is of, from Hindu background, whereas they have their own uh, celebration, deity, ceremonies and all. Uh, and uh, if I speak about my mother, mother is family for staunch follower of Jesus. One incident that occurred in childhood that stand out in my memory. One Christmas night, three of us, mother, sister and myself, we three of us went for church Christmas midnight mass. After the mass, when we returned, pitch dark, okay? Uh, lights were turned off, uh, nobody around the place, freezing cold. Then we went to the house and called, knocked the door, knocked at the door and uh, called Papa. Papa, open the door, open the door, we are here. But he was not responding. Finally, he didn't open the door, we slept outside, we three of us. So that is uh, very fresh in my mind now also. So he didn't allow. Morning, as if nothing happened, he opened the door for us. By God's grace, uh, the situations were changed. Papa became no more the same, like a converted man, like a Saint Paul got a conversion in the same way. This happened that when I was studying in the ninth class, our parish organized the retreat. The retreat preacher was the well-known, popular, charismatic leader, uh, Father Matthew Naikem Parambal VC. So he and his team came and conducted the retreat. And we also uh, enjoyed the way they sing, the way uh, pray and worship. And I also got an inspiration from it. Anyway, my father's life, a total change happened. After the incident, there was no more fight based on religion and faith. Papa was the first one to go to church and pray for no issue. So total conversion took place. And now I don't have my Papa with me. 2008 he passed away uh, due to cancer shortly after receiving the final vows. Maybe uh, Papa is uh, enjoying with the Lord.
After the 10th class examination, I got an opportunity to attend a camp. It's not a vocation camp as such, it's a training par excellence course uh, organized by the Latin Archdiocese of Trivandrum, Kerala. Uh, okay. The students are selected, all those who secured more than 60% of mark for the SSLC examination. If I remember correctly, on the third day of the camp, they screened a movie. Movie was on Don Bosco. Okay, I believe that is the starting of my vocation also. So this movie, I liked it very much. The movie depicted the childhood of uh, Don Bosco, uh, the way he helps the poor, playing with his friends, or uh, he has the magical web to attract the youths, and also performing miracles in the name of Jesus. So the movie greatly influenced me. Oh, somehow then I was thinking, I too want to live like a Saint Don Bosco. But uh, how, I don't know. But uh, uh, some, some kind of interest came to me. Then after this, I was thinking, how I will live like him? Then I thought of the best way to uh, live like him is to join the congregation. Uh, but uh, I was scared to introduce to my family because uh, my papa is uh, now following the faith, but the rest of his family is still continuing the other faith. Okay, and also they have not a good opinion about a priest and nuns. There was I, I was scared. I dropped the idea. here this house of God is a secret of a smile of a sister, a sweet smile. I saw there was a captivating energy in her smile, lot of power and energy. Then slowly I want to explore the source of her energy, source of her spirit. Then later I landed here. sister very much you know what did I did I secretly collected the uh, details of the convent especially this house the CCR sisters contact number I collected from her then I wrote a letter okay I didn't tell my parents because I know what will happen at home I did not tell them I wrote a letter asking permission that I also want to join this house within a couple of weeks I got a response that they are okay with me. They told me to come so and so day to this convent. Then I told my father, mother and my sister. Um, then Papa reluctant to send to me to the convent. He was very much disappointed. And uh, you know, every evening he calls me and sit beside me and tell the pros and cons of religious life. He said to me, my child, your family share is with us. Okay, don't worry. If there is any problem in the convent, you just make a call or write a letter. We will come and pick you up. So don't worry. Your share is here. So assurance he has given to me. Then I came to the convent. Then everything is new to me. A new timetable, new schedule, uh, the programs, the students, other candidates, everything new to me. By the grace of God, the Timetable was okay with me, no problem. Uh, the sisters, the friends, everything was okay. But one problem I had, the problem with the food. I could not adjust with the food. Not only having, but I used to vomit. Okay, soon after having the breakfast, I run to the toilet and I vomit. Then some of them threatened me also. If you don't have vocation, you will not satisfy with the food. Because food is, I think, for some of them, one of the ways of finding the quality vocation. Then I was all the more scared. But the sister stood by me, the sister in charge, Sister Tessie Fernandez, took me to the hospital and gave me some medicine. After joining the convent, I, I saw different type of people, different capacities, different wavelength. So I was thinking, I also want to be one of the best. 
Jesus is best in all rounder. He is a master of everything. He is excellent in all the field. Wherever we put, he will shine. So in this way, soon or later, I also going to be the princess of Christ. Okay. So I shouldn't be a fair or a good or I should be in an excellent level. In the formation, we will get a lot of opportunities to excellent in different fields. Not only the academics, but spiritually, culturally, showcase our talents. So the, all the opportunities, I grabbed it. Studying English also, I go to uh, sit in the night and read and write and I study and uh, I want to improve it. Wherever I go, 24 hours 7, I, I am taking Jesus around with me. Whenever I sit, I will make him to sit uh, my side. One extra chair will put and will tell him, sit here and teach me. Simply saying, Jesus, Jesus, love you, thank you, come with me. So I think that uh, word, holy words, gave me power and energy to beautify my life. Dear friends, our God is not a dead man. He is active, alive and enthusiastic. He will help you to reach the heights. I will help you to say some of the strategies which I adopt to build a heart-heart relationship with Jesus. A mother understands her children better than anyone in the world. We can trust her, we can believe her and she will keep the secrecy and she will keep the confidentiality. Trust her. Okay, I used to do sometime write different multiple intentions in a piece of paper. My personal intentions as well as intentions for the world. I write it and place it under the statue, okay? For example, now I am going to pray for all those who are watching this episode. Mother Mary, please bless them and reward them for all that they do. Mother, please bless them and keep them under your mantle of love, care, and protection. Love you. Okay. You keep it and place it under the statue or behind anywhere you can place it and mother will take care of it. Holy Bible, a supernatural book given by God to us human beings to grow like Him, to glow like Him. You know, whenever I go through trials and tribulations or when I am thrilled or excited, I take the Holy Bible so close to my heart. Here, God's breath is there. My heart plus God's heart become one heart. Okay, that gives a power and energy to go the life and make your life beautiful and colorful. So whenever I get a problem, I keep it close to my heart. As girls have a natural tendency to hold the teddy bear close to the heart. Here, teddy bear is an earthly object, but this is the Holy Bible given by God. This has a power and energy to make your life colorful and meaningful. I am inside, outside, upside, downside, happy all the time. I am inside, outside, upside, downside, happy all the time. 
when god came to me he washed away my sins i'm inside outside upside downside happy all the time my dear friends we have one and only life life has to be celebrated god is there from above to help us every hour every minute every day of the life okay take god close to your heart and make your life colorful boost yourself i am good i am marvelous i am smart i am intelligent i am wealthy i am healthy i can do it prove the world that you can do it when god is with you nothing is impossible get the holy spirit make romance with him he will help you in all the way possible The secret of my happiness is Ephesians 5:18. Do not get drunk with the wine that lead to debauchery. Instead be filled with the Holy Spirit. When the spirit comes, the Lord will take control of you. I usually boost myself every day whenever I brush myself or whenever I make a journey, walk, dress myself, I'll say I am good. I am good. I can do it. I will do it. The spirit will help me. Jesus will help me. The spirit will walk with me. I am good. I am excellent. I can do it. I will do it. I will make the world a better place. Boost yourself. You can do wonderful things. I am doing research in social work discipline. Topic is related with the mental illness PTSD. PTSD is post traumatic stress disorder. This can happen to anyone who have gone through or experienced a traumatic event like terrorist attack, war, natural calamities, sexual abuse or severe accidents, injuries, anything uh, can lead to uh, this particular mental illness. I have taken the Oki victims for the study. Oki victims, Oki, Oki was a cyclonic disaster that happened in 2017, mainly affected by the fishing community. Out of 73 treated in the hospitals, 60 are not going for job. So I was wondering, how is that, how this can happen? 60 are not going for work. So that increased my curiosity. I take up this topic. Then I was trying to prove, or I am attempting to prove through my study that through the therapies, through the integrating different therapies, we can manage them, we can heal this PTSD. These, uh, by listening to their stories, it was heartbreaking stories, you know. They have gone through severe, severe traumatic experiences or tri severe traumatic events they have gone through. Many days in the water, uh, in the sea water, without food and without clothing, with nothing, they were in the water. And seeing the dead bodies floating in front of their eyes. First, first and foremost, I was listening to them, giving a keen attention to their sorrows, beginning the conversation with a smile, patting them on the shoulder. In the digital society, many of the people are affected with the psychological problems than the physical problems. I mean, tension, stress, depression, anxiety, schizophrenia, what not. So here, psychotherapy or professional counseling play a vital role. They can do a significant role to heal the people or mend the wounded heart. We can be the wounded healers. Uh, psychotherapy or uh, counseling, what it does, it mend the hearts or building the relationship, bringing the deeper emotions into the peripheral level and deal with them. When our hearts or emotions are wounded, sometimes we cannot heal by ourselves. Get the professional help. Go to the counselors or psychotherapist. Okay? Here, counselors simply they listen to the problem. By listening itself, half of our problems will be solved. As a nun, I wish to touch the hearts of the people, mend the wounds. Nowadays, I feel Many of them are having their relationship issues. So through simple ways, being with them, understanding them, listening their problem, I feel many of the problems can be resolved. So I want to walk with them 
uh, Jesus, uh, I believe Jesus also didn't do greater things. He did, of course, he did. But he put in everything in love. He loved the people, walked with them, sat with them, uh, rested with them. So in the same way, understand the pulse of the people, help them to find out the real joy which lies within our hearts, within ourselves. God deposited in everyone. Since uh, I know a little bit about the uh, psychology or psychotherapies, I want to help them. Uh, God has, I believe God has given me uh, talents or uh, whatever I have, uh, I want to give it to them my best. Doing simple things, as Mother Teresa said, uh, do simple things with lots of love. By being with them, giving them what I have through that, maybe I will be fulfilling my religious life. Be like Jesus, at least in some ways. Give my best, that is my motto. Live in His presence. Are you searching for answers? Discover your true identity. Stay tuned to Shalom World.